Would you please welcome back Mr John Farnham? The last time you came on, I think the last time, when you actually had to walk through that audience... Yes. ..you got your bum pinched. I did, actually. <laughs> no, I did. I, I actually went home with little black and blue marks all over me bum. <laughs> I was a bit disappointed. It never happened this time. No, I... <laughs> Are you still off the fags? Yep. Yeah, I'll never smoke again. <laughs> Except for the bloke up the back. <laughs> so, you know, no, he said, he said, do I want to go out for a smoke? And I said, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if you... Uh, are you still working out? Yes, I am, but it's not working. I actually, no, I'm, I'm still working out. I'm, I'm very fit, but I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to lose this, this little spare tie, well, large spare tie that I have around my waist. But it took me 44 years to get that, <laughs> so I figure it's going to take a little bit of time to get rid of. Can you still do plumbing or not? Yeah, I can keep my hand in, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I, um, I can fix it. I can fix, you know, I mean, I don't do any, I don't do any rough and in work or anything. Oh, yeah. I still know the lingo, though. <laughs> um, but uh, I, can, I can fix a leaky tap or a broken dunny and I can still get my arm like that. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> That's a, you do that once, it's something you never forget. You know? <laughs> All right, now, this, this is, of course, my last show, but I read that in the paper at the weekend that you said that this tour in February is going to be your last tour. Yeah, is that true? I, well, it might be. It'll be the last one for a long time. I figure I owe myself a, a decent holiday, a decent rest, you know, so I might take my long service leave. <laughs> What 25 would... years ago. Wheatley's promised to give me a gold watch. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> the rocking chair's right out, OK? <laughs> what would you do? I mean, if you rested, what would you do? Oh, I don't know. Learn a few new jokes. <laughs> Be good. Uh, ride me horse, I'll give me horse help. Gillian doesn't want me to, to stop. She said, yeah, you're not going to stop, are you? And I said, no, 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 of course not. Well, there are things that I will do, but I, I don't know that I'll tour for a while after this one. Get uh, to know your... Um... Mother-in-law better? No, I don't want to know the woman at all. <laughs> won't, probably won't go near her. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sucked me into this every time. And I... Cos I go home and she says, you know, all my friends sit on Santa's lap. Yes, I can... I can be in that. <laughs> um, but, but uh, she says to me, you know, all my friends ring me up and tell me, you know, the, the things you've been saying about me. And, of course, they elaborate. It's fantastic. She sees everything I do, you know. Don't you, you dragon. <laughs> She'll be sitting up there going, oh, that's my son-in-law, which is great. But then her friends ring her up who, who don't think she's seen it. And she said, did you hear what he said about you? And she goes, no, what? <laughs> and, of course, it gets worse and worse, which is great. <laughs> Could you be a farmer like Jeff? Could you retire and become a farmer? No, I, I don't want to put little small furry animals down my trousers for a start. <laughs> What, what, hey, what I can't live down, Sadie. You got the ferrets. What, what happened to the ferrets, Jeff? Pardon? What happened to the ferrets? I'm going to play Sadie for him. He keeps that up. <laughs> I think it died of some mysterious disease. Didn't it? <laughs> but but so you you wouldn't run the farm, although you like to get back. Yeah, to Yeah, well, it's not a farm as such. We've we, we've we've it's fairly small. So it's not. I mean, it's not really a farm. It's just a couple of big paddocks, All right. um, which I really love. But I, I you know I just there are other things that I'd like to do. I'd like to try and develop some. Some, some other people, help some other people's careers and, 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 and uh, not in a management right. aspect. I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do what Glenn does, you know. I can't dance like that for a start. <laughs> but, um, How does he dance? No, you watch him. You get a shot of him later on. But he dances. He was like, he used to stay out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> so You're a good he... dancer, aren't you, Wheat? No, yeah. no, 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 no. How does he dance? Oh, yeah, it's really quite remarkable. I mean, I'll be singing Burn For You, right? And I'll burn for... Don't you dare. <laughs> And he'll be going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> but no matter, no matter what song I'm singing, he does that. And I, I actually saw him do it. <laughs> and this is true. I, we were in Europe and, and You're the Voice was, was, was quite a big hit over there, so we went over with the next album. Uh, chain reaction. No, Age of Reason. I know that. <laughs> and we went over there to... And the next Yeah, right. ..to do some promotion for it. And I was singing Age of Reason live on this television show in, in, in Sweden, I think. <laughs> and we were taping this thing and halfway through it, the floor manager came up and said, look, I think we've got a problem. I think your manager's having a fit. <laughs> he, I swear... No, that's a true story, I swear. He was doing... <laughs> It's unbelievable. It's really... It, no, it's a true story, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Your, your ex-manager's ex not smart. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>